with that, I'm going to leave you with a few suggestions for the future. We've got some challenges. One of the challenges, the woman herself is now the site of the abortion. There's not an abortion clinic to, uh, uh, you know, protest outside of because she's getting these pills in her mailbox. The laws that we work so hard to pass to regulate clinics and abortion providers are now nullified by like do-it-yourself drug-induced abortion that comes to her as a pill for the man. And women will be harmed of all medical care for complications. Women in your congregation, your teens, your friends. They're likely going to see increased psychological trauma because they're going to see the baby that they thought was just a blob of tissue. Who is a blob of tissue? Who has arms and legs and, and face? But there are some opportunities. There's some time to reach her now before her mail order comes in. She won't be under the name high pressure stance techniques as when she walks into an abortion clinic. And she may change her mind. She may regret taking the abortion drug. And she has 72 hours to get progesterone. That's abortion pill reversal. Your pregnancy care center life plan can tell you about it. And finally, we have a huge opportunity for educating about the risks of abortion and the possibility of abortion for reversal. Finally, I want to tell you a little bit about my organization, the American Association of Pro-Life OBGYNs. We have a lot of information and resources. Go to our, our webpage and click on resources and you will find the answers to most of your questions. And if your doctor is not a member of APAR, Ask them why and invite them to join because we're, we're looking for more and more and more doctors to join us in life-saving medicine. Thanks.